welcome to Microsoft Excel working with functions. This video tutorial is in line with the custom advanced Excel training manual that we created for classroom environment. This will be covering exercise 5 advanced functions. In this tutorial we'll be covering 14 separate functions which would include the now function, the proper, right, left, concatenate, if, some if, count if, and VLOOKUP, and the substitute function. This will be broken out into several series. This will be the first part. We're going to be talking about the now function and how to format it and work with that a little bit. We will then talk about the proper function in this tutorial. So here in our worksheet I have the employee list worksheet open. I'm going to go to my cell H2 and I want to put in today's date or better known as now. There's a couple ways of doing this. The, the function we're using today is going to be the now function. So I'm going to go equals now. There it is in my list. I'm going to press tab to accept it and I'm going to close that off with a parentheses. Now I like to click the check enter box here. It remains, it keeps my active cell in there and now I can see my function in my formula bar and my active cell with the results in it. So from here I want to format this a little bit so it's a simpler to read and simplify it. So I'm going to click my dialog box launcher here for my number group which is in my home tab. I'm going to click this and come over to the number tab, go down to date and from here I'm going to choose the fourth style that is or type and I'm going you can see the difference between these two they look similar but the month is uh, one character so I'm going to click OK now that's a little bit simplified now that I have today's date now I can cross-reference or calculate that against the higher date and come up with the years of service and in order to do that I'm going to come to this cell here. I'm going to put in a simple formula. This is the neat little thing about calculating with dates. So I'm going to do equals H2. And I want that to be a constant. As I fill my formula down, I want it to always reference H2. So in that case, I need to make this absolute. So I'm going to press my F2 key at this point, And it absolutes that, that cell reference. And then I'm going to subtract it from D4. And then I'm going to simply click my check enter button and there's my calculation. Now as it is now, as it stands, it's going to give me the number of days. Well I want the number of years to return to, back to me. So I'm going to come to my formula here and I want to encapsulate this with parentheses so that is a separate calculation by itself and then I want to divide that into what do you think I need to divide that into to come up with number of years well if I'm doing days right now I need to divide that into the number of days in a year so 365 and then click enter and there it is number of years point number of days I'm gonna fill this down there it is. Now let's use talk about the our last name and our first name here. Let's take a look. If we look at this we can see that all of our first and all of our last names are capitalized. Well in some cases actually in many cases we don't want that. We want it to be in a proper format meaning the first letter is capitalized the rest are lowercase. So what are we gonna do? Click inside each of these cells and retype them probably not now that's not to say I haven't heard that happening that's a lot of time wasted so if I use a simple function here or formula I'm gonna do equals and I want to type in proper and as I type there's my list I'm gonna arrow key down to proper and press tab that's my function for this formula now I want a proper B4 which is my last name column close that off and then click my enter check mark there it is 
that's a nice little trick right there. So if I fill this down, oops, I can see that it is capitalizing the first letter of each word, name and lowercasing the remainder of it. So now it's better suited for names. Well, that's all the time I have for this tutorial. Uh, in our next tutorial in this series, part two, I'm going to be talking about the right function and the left function, along with the concatenate function. And that is going to involve taking this column of information here, which is office location. If we look at this, this has the name of a building, a building number, and then an extension. Well, I want to split some of this information out and populate my extension column. So I have only the extension in here and then only the building name in this column. We're going to do that in the next tutorial. Thanks for joining me and if you didn't know how to do these things beforehand, well now you know. And I strongly encourage you to share this information with as many, as many people who might need help with this. Thank you and don't forget to comment.